I'm going to talk about one of my favorite ways of identifying the class names or the IDs sometimes for particular elements on a page. Site Origin CSS is my tool of choice. There's loads out there, but I've been using this one for a while. And I first covered it in a video about two years ago. Whenever I'm putting out videos, like I did a recent one about tabs and how you could align the icons in there, how did I get the class name to know what I was going to target? You could right click and inspect your page and there's various methods you can use where you don't need to use a plugin. But if you're a little bit unsure about inspecting your page and going, well, what exactly am I touching? This is a lifesaver. It's free to use. Once you've got it installed, you'll then have the option to click CSS editor where you can now start to analyze or edit some of the CSS. But you can either go to it from here or you could just go to appearance and go to custom CSS. It's going to take you to the same screen, which is actually quite blank. There aren't really any settings for you to worry about. And by the way, you can use this with any WordPress website. This isn't just for Elemental, Bricks, Breakdowns, anything you want. What you do is you click the I and it takes you over to your home page or whatever is assigned as your landing page. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in test two. So I can go to any page. So you might want to go to a shop page, a particular product page, anything you want. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to go over to the tabs. Now I've covered this in a video, but I want to show you how did I get around to understanding what is the class name I want to use and how was I going to modify it? I'm going to go and click on the tab. Now, as soon as I do that, some items appear down here. And what this now starts to do is break down the components. So I've got container, I've got tabs, I've got the heading, but I've also got the tab type till normal E active. This is the one I actually want to touch, but I don't want to touch the E dot active. I want to touch all of the tabs. If I do anything where I click over here, this will only affect the tab title over there, the, the active one. I actually want to touch all of them. So I'm going to click over here on the tab title E normal. If there was any doubt over what you were touching and you were a little bit unsure, then what you can do is just go over, move your mouse until you highlight the exact component that you want to touch and again, go and click it. And then once you've done that, again, go and click the name down here. Whatever you click here, will now appear over here. Let me just make one very quick point. It says Elemental Star. If you click Elemental Star and you go and change the text color, it will change it for everything inside of Elemental that's on your page. So be very sure about what you're ticking. Remember, if you're very good at inspecting, you could right click inspect and you would have identified the component. Now, if I go over here to text color and I go and change that to be red, I know it's only touching the top one, but believe me, the only reason it's doing that is because it has this bit here with the EN tabs title 1891. We're going to eradicate that bit and only go for the EN tan tab title E normal. But I just want to show you that when you start messing around with what's on the left hand side, we have text, uh, we've got quite a lot of components here, we have decoration for background borders and things like that. Maybe there's a widget and there's no styling on there for borders. Well, you could go on here now, add something. You might tinker with it later. The key bit though is that it gives you the syntax and the code to use. And we also have layout as well. Now I'm just gonna hit the tick mark over here and there you go. It's now written the code for us like that. Pretty simple, right? Look, there it is. Now I'm gonna get rid of what was before there like that and just have EN tab title E normal. I'm gonna hit save. That will now apply that to every tab on our website. If you want it to only apply to a certain tab, you might have given your tab on your web page a certain class name. So let's pretend we went and called it a super tab. I'd put super tab like that. So if you want to be very specific, you can. By the way, you don't have to just hit save and leave the code here. You can copy the code, delete it from here and go and stick it uh, actually with the actual item. So, you know, custom CSS or advanced tab or whatever, however you do it with whatever page builder, theme builder you're using, you could add it specifically there. Or you could go and add it into the custom CSS bit of your theme. You can add it wherever you want. All of the titles are in red because it's now applying it across the board. Uh, and that's only because um, if I go back over to my page here, you can see it's got the word super tab applied over there. So if you want to be very specific on where it's applying it, that's great. The thing though is why I used this and why I use this a lot is I actually want this to be space between. 
The trouble is though, is that over here, we don't currently have that setting built in. So I can't go over and go, right, I now want to apply space between. I got display where I can assign it to be a block or a flex like that, but I don't have the item. In fact, let me just pop it over to flex. There is no setting over here where I can go and say space between, but that isn't actually a problem for me. If I go back over to the text, I now have the text I wanna use. So I could very easily and quickly just copy it, delete it from here, save it so it's now no longer there. The red color is gone because the code is gone. Go and click the advanced tab, scroll down to custom CSS, stick this in and it's now gonna be red. Well, we don't actually want the red but we'll leave the flex in there, even though it is already flex. And then I can go and add in the rest of the text I wanna add. So I add in justify content space between and now it's done it. Now, if you weren't sure about where to get that code, you could easily go to Google and type in CSS for space between, and it will pump this out for you. You go and drop it in. So even though Site Origin CSS did not give me that option to pick it, it allowed me to identify that. In fact, let me just get rid of the super tab bit. That's irrelevant here. It gave me that. That was the bit I really wanted, but I don't even know why I'm pointing because you can't even see my finger. EN tab title E normal. That's what I needed. You could inspect and get that yourself, but if you're a little bit unsure, this is gonna help you out because how many of you actually would have thought of writing anything like that down? Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron using Site Origin CSS. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.